Living as an expat overseas, there are things you just are gonna miss. I mean, maybe your grandma makes the best cookies and you just wanna take that and have that part of it with you. I think sometimes that could be the essence of a great business idea. But the question is, what do you do? Do you adapt the product or do you keep it as it is and just hope that the new culture will just accept it? That's the case that we have with Bone Shaker It's Donut. They actually bought their idea. They bought imported donuts to France. And not just, you know, like Frenchy donuts, beignets. We're talking about the good all-American donut here in France. So I have all these questions. Will the French people care about it? Will they buy it? Uh, will they accept it? And will they incorporate it into their life? That's what we're gonna talk about with Bone Shakers Donuts here in Paris's second R&D Small. We originally got the idea to open the donut shop because we wanted to eat donuts. And you were like, huh, I could go for a donut. Yeah, well, we were on um, vacation in the States visiting my family and mm -hmm. we were eating donuts. And um, so mm -hmm. we were like, God, you can never get donuts in Paris. Nobody is doing it. I have been a pastry chef for over 10 years. Louis has also always worked in the um, restaurant industry. Mm -hmm. So we knew that we wanted to open something together. So I used sort of the background in pastry when approaching the donuts. So the dough, for instance, the recipe that I came up with is a mix of like a brioche and the traditional American dough. So they're kind of, the two are actually quite, oh, so it's I not, combined the two. Basically. It's not the traditional donut recipe? Well, the difference is the traditional donut recipe usually has water, um, whereas ours are made with butter and milk. So it's just that little bit sort so of- So it's fatty and fluffier. Fattier and fluffier, that's right. That's yeah. a good combination. <laughs> um, and like our dough takes 18 hours to rise. So there's just that- Is it because it's an enriched dough? Yes. Very impressive. <laughs> I dabble. Yeah, exactly. I dabble a little. <laughs> How about uh, finish bake off? I know what I'm talking about. How long did it take you to develop the donut? Yeah, it took a few months. Okay, um, so it was a lot of trial and error? A lot of trial and error. I had a family of uh, my husband and three boys who were delighted. Basically like donuts, donuts, donuts all the time. Dinner, donuts, exactly. breakfast, donuts. Exactly. <laughs> Did you adapt any recipe for the Parisian taste? Because I don't know how Parisians are about their beignets. I think Europe in general tends to like their desserts much less sweet. Right. American. Is that the biggest thing you found? I would say so, but the thing is, like, my palate is kind of that way, anyways, as well. Like, I don't think you want to bite into sugar. Yeah, just pure sugar, you know. So you some want to, people might. Some people might. <laughs> exactly. Um, so whereas ours, of course, are, are sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, so some things that are probably quintessentially French that we use, and we have a caramel donut. Mm -hmm. uh, you said that really nice. Someone's been living here. <laughs> Um, but so I do a creme brulee donut. Today we have a chocolate creme brulee as well. So I certainly ah. have like a nod to, you know, our Par Paris home. Here. Okay, so then what here is really American? Is there something here really? Cinnamon nice? sugar. So we do the yeah, cinnamon is, sugar donut, is. which is like, it doesn't get, Oh yeah, we can edit this out as well. Um, no, we're gonna say that's Louis. <laughs> <movie. laughs> Louis is adding stuff to the conversation. Yeah, peanut gallery over there. Um, yes, and we do the maple bacon donut. Which maple bacon? Yes. Um, yes. Which surprisingly is our bestseller with the French. Get out. Yeah. They like the bacon. They love it. The... In fact, on the odd days that I don't do it, they'll come in and be like, you know, maybe like. <laughs> So you with maple bacon. Um, so, so now you have to have it. I have you to have to have it. bacon on hand. Is it like French bacon? Yeah. So it's po poitrine fumé um, okay. that we get from the butcher, and then farm to table. No. <laughs> I try. I like on all in all seriousness. Yeah, yeah. Like I do definitely try and you know integrate the whole seasonality. You know, we use oh, local great. producers. Um, everything I. We buy. should start with that. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. So the thing is, even for things like a pastry shop. Um, mm -hmm. Again, and I think I kind of bring my restaurant background and bakery background into right. that as well, where like it actually is very, it's a huge part of our business is that we try and everything we can get for as, as uh, local as possible, as seasonal as possible. Uh, so everything is fresh and what's your your range? Like how far away would you go to well, get like an ingredient? France. Do you know right. it's, it, it should be in France. Yeah, exactly. Um, the only thing is I do import, exactly. I do import um, sprinkles from America and the odd time that I use sprinkles, which isn't all the time, but Sometimes for like birthday, we'll do I don't mean to laugh at that, but <laughs> you can't get <laughs> you know, I just find sprinkles here. Yeah, they're yeah. not the same. 
They are not. Sprinkles like, are not the same. They are not the same. For like the, the sprinkles, you want to go to the Americans. The Americans do <laughs> sprinkles well. And the other thing, which will be coming up soon, is mm -hmm. canned pumpkin. So, who's your main customer here in France? So it's 50-50 mm -hmm. French and Anglophone expat. Okay. Meaning like Australian, American, yeah, like English, Irish. When do you, what time of day do you see the most business here? Afternoon for sure. So for the goûter? Yep. This is a goûter stop? This is a goûter stop. Much wow. to our surprise. Um, not like again, I get like a little pop in the morning uh -huh. for breakfast, which tends to be more on the phone, not mm -hmm. always, but like a little busy before noon. Okay, then we do our lunches. Um, and for lunch, do you? I thought you, I thought I saw that you had um, salty or yeah, savory, savory donuts. Donut. Um, so we do our savory donuts for lunch at the moment. I'm doing a coque monsieur on a donut with pickled okra and um, yeah, and uh, do you pickle lemonade. your own okra? Yeah. We do everything. Do you grow here. your own okra? I do not yet. Maybe one day. If you do and you get the seeds, let me know. Pickled okra, lemonade. So we do those for lunch. Uh huh. And then we get really busy in the afternoon. Around okay. like three, four o'clock is definitely when the cabinet will go from, you know, we've restocked it after lunch so it'll be full and then by five o'clock. It's gone. It's Everything gone. is gone. On a good day, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I have to ask because I discovered you on Instagram. Yeah. How did you, like, how was it getting started here in Paris? Like, how did you start? We, after uh, you had the great idea to have a Yeah, up? we were very lucky because um, we had a friend of ours who runs a coffee shop and he's actually opening his own place this fall as well. Oh, okay. Um, Name drop. It, yeah, exactly. O Coffee Shop. O Coffee uh, Shop. <laughs> go to the 15th. So he didn't have pastries, so asked me if I would do pastries for him. Um, I did, it went well, um, he like helped put the word out, other coffee shop owners, you know, would come in and see it, so I started mm -hmm. getting orders from other coffee shops. Mm -hmm. So for the first um, six months or so, we were able to supply other coffee shops in Paris, so we did it that way, I was supplying other oh, coffee okay. shops, then I partnered up with Tim and we did a six month pop up at the Beans on Fire. So, That's what I saw. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that was another way. And, and then both he and I had like a physical location that people could come into and buy the donuts and the lunches and all that kind of stuff. And while we were doing the pop up, my husband Louis and I, who I co own and run the shop with, mm -hmm. um, found this place. And nothing to say about that, Louis? No, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, while, his lips are sealed. Exactly. He's like, I learned my lesson. Quiet over you now. But uh, so it, it actually ended up working out really well because while I was doing the in the kitchen at the pop up shop, Louis was here like laying the floor, and it's Louis who did the murals, oh. so, like painting the walls, laying the floor, like basically building our shop with How his friends. How lovely is that? Yeah. And so it kind of seamlessly the pop up ended, and we were able to move in here. Do you think you're gonna stick with, you know, donuts? Or are you gonna go with some other American treats, cinnamon rolls? Well, I, I do. I do cinnamon rolls already, mm -hmm. and I do um, like brownies. And again, coming into the holidays, I'm gonna start doing like in the summer. I was doing pies and stuff as well. So like I'll be doing pumpkin pies and stuff. So the thing is, we already do. We donuts are for sure like we're a donut shop. Yes. But again, like a lot of sort of like donut kind of places in the states, especially like the mom and pop ones that you find at the beach and mm -hmm. then essentially were modeled after. They'll often, they'll have their donuts, but you also will be able to get like a brownie or a pie or, you know, like these kind of little bits and bobs as well. So that's, that's what we do. So what have we learned? Don't lose your soul during adaptation. Because while most people will gravitate towards the well-known vanilla, it is the awkwardly irresistible maple bacon that will keep them coming back for more. Next time, we will be talking about why you should consider co-branding. Until then, Yeah, Irish, English, American, Irish. Are you? Do you want to join in, or are you just yeah. gonna like? Yeah, but you're not. You're not on the camera. You're like this ghost <laughs> voice, <laughs> all like answering my questions. <laughs>